Over the past 2,000 years, the Pantheon has been a pagan temple, a church, and then a tomb for Italian kings. The building we see today was completed in 126 AD when Rome ruled an empire that stretched from Portugal to Persia, from Scotland to the Sahara. I'm exploring this remarkable building with architectural historian Professor Ettore Mazzola. There is just something incredible about it, isn't there? Fantastic. The interior is a vast cylinder, but its crowning glory is the dome. This is still today the largest unreinforced concrete dome ever built on this planet. We are talking about a building which is 43.3 meters in diameter. I mean, that's for us in, in England, we always think of St. Paul's with this amazing dome, but this dwarfs this St. Paul's. Is, and is bigger and is possible only because of the material and the technique used to build it. Without steel to reinforce the concrete from within, surely this dome should collapse under its own weight. So they developed a system of load-bearing arches that were concentrating all the forces within these eight humongous pillars. And you have load-spreading arches that are concentrating all the forces vertically into the pillars. But what also ensures these walls can bear the load without buttresses is the construction of the dome itself. Each of its layers is made with a slightly different mix of concrete. Basically, there are several layers yeah. of different materials. Different materials with a different weight. In this model, you can see how step by step the vault is, uh, uh, is growing. So the first part is made of Roman uh, concrete that has inside fragments of travertine yeah. uh, stone and tufa stone, right. which are heavy and very compact. And step by step, these materials are getting lighter and then at the very end, there is only the pumice stone, which is closing the structure. So they're changing the actual material they're using as they go up, making it lighter and lighter as they go up. Exactly. And then at the, at the very top, there is this big hole, which is uh, nine meter in diameter, which is necessary because all the forces step by step are going down vertically mm. into the pillars. It's a constant, perfect balance of forces that keeps this structure standing as it does. 